First tonight, Newark police are searching for whoever is responsible for this, defacing the George Floyd statue just a week after its unveiling. New South New Jersey's Naomi Yane is in Newark tonight where that statue is now under police surveillance, Naomi. That's right, Brittany. All signs of vandalism have been washed away, and now the investigation is underway into who defaced the statue of George Floyd sitting in front of City Hall here in Newark. The 700-pound statue honoring the life of George Floyd, a black man killed by a Minneapolis police officer, was unveiled just a week ago, and just before 6 a.m. today, it was found disfigured and destroyed with graffiti. Some passers-by we talked to who saw the statue before it was cleaned up described the face as spray-painted black, and police saying written across his chest was the name of a white nationalist group. We've already seen similar occurrences in Brooklyn with the same M.O., but police have yet to connect the two incidents. Residents stopping by to take pictures by the statue were shocked to hear of the act of vandalism, but not surprised. We still have racism in the world today, but, you know, for them to do that, you know, it's something that we still have to be aware of and uh, just keep, you know, our thoughts on high, you know, stay positive, don't do anything negative. In a statement, Newark Mayor Ross Baraka said, in part, this is not just about George Floyd. It's a deliberate effort to push back against and ultimately dismantle systems of hatred, racism, and white supremacy. And all this, Brittany, happening just the day before Derek Chauvin is set to be sentenced. And tonight, Newark police asking anybody with information to dial, call 877-NWK-TIPS if they have information. For for now, from Newark, Naomi Yane, News 12, New Jersey. Brittany, I'll send it back to you. It's unbelievable what happened in Newark. Naomi, thank you.